Metropolis Transit Authority reports that all 10,400 traffic signals are stuck on green. <laughs> there have been several near disasters, but thanks to Superman, no serious injuries. You say that again. Jimmy, what are you standing here watching pictures for when you could be out taking them? Oh, right, Chief, I'll get my camera. Yeah, well, that would help. Clark, where have you been? I was, uh, stuck in traffic, Chief. Oh, all right. Well, now that you're here, see if you can piece together a story out of this mess for the afternoon edition. Okay? Okay. All right. Well, is any idea what caused this? Uh, sounds like sabotage. The Department of Traffic got an anonymous note saying, cars are isolating us from each other. Walk among your fellow man. Lois, that is a direct quote from Molly's book. You think... No. No, not Molly. She's an activist, but she's the last person who would do something like this. Probably some nut read her book. Any luck getting information on Ryan Wiley's death? Zero. Everything comes back classified, access denied, but I did do a follow-up story on the ATAS. I just lost my story. Yeah. Somebody get me MIS. My computer just froze up. So did mine. Oh, brother, we're a half an hour before deadline. All right, let's get the systems operator on the phone. Oh, never mind, I'll do it myself. Judas Priest. Phone lines are dead. Chief! I thought I sent you out to get some pictures. Guard downstairs found this tape to the lobby door. The phones of Metropolis are mute. Its computer's silence. We have released the death grip of technology and freed the human spirit. What kind of sophomore claptrap is this? It's exactly the claptrap Molly was ranting about yesterday. Looks like Molly's graduated from activist to terrorist. I guess. There's nothing Molly couldn't do with a computer system. No, 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 just a minute. You know who wrote this? Well, yeah, obviously not as well as I thought. Well, what are you two hanging around for? Get on it. All right, everybody, listen up. We may have lost the battle, but not the war. We still got a newspaper to put out. Well, Chief, we're fully computerized. All right, now, Jimmy, you're young, so I'm gonna excuse that. But believe it or not, there was a Daily Planet long before there were computers. There's no wire service or faxes, Chief. How? Then we're just gonna pound the pavement like we did in the old days. First rule of journalism, you publish or you perish. Dale, yeah. I want you to round us up some typewriters. CD, right. go on down there and see if that old line of type machine still works. Jimmy, okay. I want you to stick with me like glue. You're about to find out what it means to be a real newspaper man. <laughs> 